Hey everybody, it's Jim with Triple J Bricks. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a little vlog and we're going on a little adventure to a place that I went with my parents to get Lego when I was a kid and it's still here. It is this crazy little store. I'll show you it when we get in there, but we also have our baby along. Right, honey? The store is called Evans and it's in a little tiny town near where I grew up and ever since I was little I'd come here with my parents and this is where we would look for Lego look at that they even got the sign still on the door let's go in you know what I forgot something before we go in I need to grab somebody else oh here we are and here I am with my parents again <laughs> So we're all gonna go in. We're all good. We're all gonna go in together and look for some Lego. All right. Yeah. We're excited. This store is like stepping back in time. The only difference from when I was a kid is they don't really have the cheap candies at the front anymore, but this place is seriously a time capsule. They sell only quote, new products, but new is a relative term as they do offer truly new things, but they also just never pull stock from the past. So it just continues to sit on the shelf. They have stuff in here from the 90s and early 2000s. In fact, my dad bought an iron here just a couple of weeks ago and the date on it was 1984. This laundry sorter is from 1999. Not much changes in this store through the years, including the signage. It's amazing a place like this continues to exist, honestly. Unfortunately, while they have always had a massive Lego collection, they don't still have sets from 1984. They do, however, have some retired sets I spotted, but nothing of super value I noticed. But for sure I missed something in this wall of LEGO boxes. I'm certain there are LEGO enthusiasts who frequent here and nab all of the valuable retired sets. In fact, there were a couple guys absolutely looking for old sets while I was there filming. Everything was marked at retail pricing that you would expect from Shop at Home or at any LEGO store. Lots of City, Creator, Jago, Star Wars, Harry Potter, other licensed themes like this Overwatch set that retired in 2019, or this Powderpuff Girls set that retired in 2018. At the front of the store, they have the advent calendars and more of the higher value Lego ideas, icons, art sets, larger Disney sets, etc. They even had the Tranquil Garden set marked down to $89 from its usual 109 retail. I'm sure you can spot some gems I'm missing. If so, let me know in the comments section. The LEGO selection isn't the end of their toy extravaganza either. They have tons of Playmobil stacked on both sides of the aisle, like a ton of it. A puzzle and game aisle a mile long and tons of old and new toys of all kinds. It's really crazy. You could spend hours in here just scouring through all of the inventory they have with with just the toy section alone. This place is pretty unique and I'm hoping it continues to be here for years to come so I can take my daughter here again to buy some Lego with her grandparents just like we did when I was young. All right, we got a bunch of stuff. Parents are walking back that way. Uh, I can't show you though because I am hosting a sort of gift swap Christmas party on stream at twitch.tv slash jjmjim. Uh, link will be in the description below, but we're gonna be hosting a gift swap and I got a bunch of little gifts for that. Uh, and I have some more at home and then we gotta wrap up, but we got some Lego and we got some other cool, like old vintagey things and weird stuff because that store is just pretty wild. It's a weird, <laughs> it's su such a weird place and it's just like a time capsule. So, but that's it, that's it. You got anything to say, baby? Jim out. All right, <laughs> everybody, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And remember, until next time, keep on building. Jim out.